Hello guys, Filament recently became the top Laravel package on GitHub, surpassing Livewire and Debug Bar to get the first place. In this video, I will try to demonstrate what Filament can do in just 5 minutes. So this will be a rapid video, almost without editing, starting from Laravel project and ending with something like this. And this was also a challenge and experiment for me how far we can go with Filament in just 5 minutes. Technically I went a bit over time with 5 minutes and 20 seconds, but still pretty impressive. The initial project is just Laravel project with no starter kit, Laravel 12 with 2 database tables, so products and then categories and our goal is to create a simple admin panel to manage those. So what I have before filament is eloquent models with relationships. This is also the relationship and also one enum class for the status of the product which is cast to product status enum like this. So I've prepared the database level, now let's create admin panel for that. So we start with installing filament, we copy and paste into our terminal the installation commands from the official docs and it will ask the question of what URL should be for our admin panel by default slash admin and we will leave it as default for now no starring the repo and we can already log in to our filament dashboard this is Laravel homepage but we can go to slash admin and we can log in with the default user from Laravel which I've seated behind the scenes and we are already inside of the filament dashboard with empty, pretty empty space and no menu items. And this is our next step to generate a menu item for category. For example, let's start with the model category, PHP artisan make filament resource. And we just provide the model of category and we will add two more flags, generate the columns and the inputs from the database and simple to enable modal windows for editing. So we refresh and we already see menu item here categories with the data from the database and editing form already works with the modal windows because I provided dash dash simple. Now let's add one more column here and this file is called category resource in filament with two methods form and table and in the table we have text column make also a few hidden columns and let's add one more text column make for counting the products so products count and it will automatically count the products from the relationship so we provide the relationship name here comma we refresh and it immediately shows the amount of products with has many relationship from the database now let's generate another menu item called products and we will make a few more customizations there so php artisan make filament resource to the model of product and we will try to generate but not simple this time it will be a full resource with edit form and now for refresh we have products here and we have those columns from the database already generated automatically but I need to make a few changes here for example name and slug should be before category in my opinion or let's hide the slug altogether for that product resource file and in here we have the table method and let's put name and slug before category name and let's remove the slug altogether. We refresh the table and we have this. Next is active. If we click here, we land on edit form, but maybe we want is active to be like that immediately in the table. For that, we change the icon column is active to toggle column is active. We don't need boolean here and if we refresh we have this immediately in the table and you can edit it right away without visiting the edit form but now let's visit the edit form and here we have a relationship for category already with drop down so we can change that but also we have status which is not the relationship instead is a text field string field in the database powered by PHP enum, so we have enum for this, and then let's make it a drop down instead of this text column, and it's easy to make in the product resource. So in the form, instead of status, instead of text input, we do select make status, and what would be the options? Options would come from our enum class directly, product enum class, and let's remove that one and we refresh and now we have the drop down but now we need to change the label so in our enum we need to implement 
has label from filament and we need to provide function get label string with return this value like this and now we have this in stock and there's one more thing i want to change with the status there are badges but we can also assign colors to them by changing something in the enum class so we don't need to change anything in filament but in the enum we can implement another thing called has color and then we need to implement a function public function get color also string and then return match uh, this and then what are the possible values self in stock would be the color value of primary from filament and then other colors would be something like not secondary let's call it warning for sold out there are six colors in filament for these things so coming soon success and let's add also default uh, danger but let's call it gray and now we refresh our table and we have different colors for different values of the status so yeah this is how far you can go with filament in just roughly five minutes and if you want to dive deeper i recently reshot the video course so i started reshooting courses on laravel daily in video format instead of just text and i re-released my two hour long course about filament 3 in video updated to the latest filament and laravel versions including the repository but also including the text version of the lessons as well so I will link this course in the description below. Meanwhile, are you as impressed as I was when I discovered Filament a few years ago? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.